We're going to start off your newscast today at the State House with a closer look at medical marijuana. Today, the bill moved to the House for consideration. News 19's Julia Kaufman tells us about some major changes made to the legislation. The medical marijuana bill could allow South Carolinians with debilitating medical conditions to get prescription cannabis. Some conditions are cancer, multiple sclerosis, epilepsy, sickle cell anemia, and post-traumatic stress disorder. Integrating cannabis reverses the stress response. It takes us out of that fight or flight mode. Gary Hess is the executive director of the Veterans Alliance for Holistic Alternatives. He's a Marine and struggled with PTSD after returning to the States in 2008. He says many veterans like him don't get the care they need to cope. They're out of options, just like I was out of options and, and sitting on my own couch thinking that the, logically the best answer was for me not to be in the equation anymore. Cannabis provides a natural option, according to Hess, to help people heal. We need to medical freedom to make the choices that we need to provide the, 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 uh, the necessary care for either ourselves or our family members so that we can get back to the dinner table with those that we love most. If the bill becomes law, cannabis could come in the form of oils, lotions, and patches. Smoking marijuana is not allowed. Edibles are, but can't resemble candy or baked goods that could attract children. A lot of people have said that it is uh, the Compassionate Care Act, and it's compassionate to be able to give this stuff to hurting people. We care about those hurting people as well, but we also care about the unintended consequences and it getting in the hands of people that don't need it. The bill says cardholders would need to sign a statement that acknowledges giving their cannabis to anyone is a felony that can result in jail time. They also can't own a firearm, work in law enforcement, or operate heavy machinery. Despite these limits, it's the South Carolina Sheriff's Association opposes legalizing medical marijuana. We have a lot of concerns when it comes to uh, something being called medicine that's not regulated by the FDA, prescribed by a doctor, and filled by a pharmacist. Executive Director Jared Bruder was happy to see an option added for municipalities to opt out of medical marijuana, but still hopes it isn't passed. In Columbia, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX. Again, the medical marijuana bill passed the Senate today, but its future in the House is unclear.